All right, guys, you did a few sweeps, stuff on the last video. Um, I'm gonna show the foot lock that I like to do. It's with just one hand. Um, a couple reasons that I like it, especially with the gi on, is one, when I get here and I'm attacking the foot and I need both hands to attack it on the straight foot lock, if he grabs my gi, you know, I've gotta to try to free this hand and it's really difficult to do, okay? Um, the other reason that I like it because I keep a really loose elbow grip here. If he happens to roll over, I can transition pretty quickly to the heel hook, right? I know heel hooks aren't legal in most key tournaments, but that's, I'm just telling you, that's another reason I like the shallow foot lock. Um, okay, traditionally you learn the foot lock all the way through here, right? Nice and tight, thickest part of the arm on the Achilles. It makes sense, it adds a lot of pressure. And you wanna try to get, of course, your armpit swallowing the toes. I think this, and that footlock feels more like an, a tendon crush. This footlock feels more like your foot is separating from your, from your joint, okay? Um, I like it here because I think it's too easy when you go deep not to get high enough on the toes. I end up on the upper foot and when he flexes his foot, it's tough for me to bend, right? Difficult to bend here, right? Easy to bend here, okay? So it gives me some more flexibility. Also, it allows me more mobility with my elbow to really trap his foot underneath my body. So right now my elbow's lined up with my middle, my middle thigh. I'm gonna make the adjustment back to my hip, which is already putting a great deal of pressure on his elbow and starting to bend his knee. And now I'm gonna collapse on my shoulder, which puts a lot of pressure on the foot. And then my nose is gonna draw like a crescent, right? And I'm stretching my hips forward, right? So let's pretend that I don't have the foot here, okay? Or I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna keep this foot with me because it's too much pressure. Back, but so. if I happen to have a loose grip or you have somebody with long legs, it gives you a much longer continuum to finish. So I'm here, back, okay? I'm down on my shoulder. My nose is on the ground, my hips are driving in. It gives me a lot of room to move and finish the technique. Okay this way. I know some guys like to get the tight technique here and then just push the toes to the heel. You know, that's fine. I just feel like I can get my whole body more involved when I collapse here on the shoulder, drive my hips forward, take arch my back and my nose goes in this semicircle direction. Like this, right? I got a long way to stretch. Jake here has short legs, so it doesn't take too long to get through that, uh, get the tap. But all right, guys, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I'll probably launch another video soon. Thanks.